Okay, we came in from this way. So let's go out that way. Man, we apparently need a lot more negative effects on us. Ooh. What is? A fragment of amber. <gasps> amber. Alright, set up. Hey, cozy cat. How are you today? Who is Amber? Oh, Amber, um, Amber is what you use to level up your effort points. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right, Don? This is a very stressful job. It is. Very stressful. Uh, 1191 and 6646. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully Mortimer isn't back there, because that'd be really awkward. Oh, 6466? Six, six? Whoops. That makes more right. sense. Yeah. This time, it'll be a lot quicker. If I remember rightly, the code was 1191. Sama with the snoop boop. Good to see you, bud. Zombie with the cheer. Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it. And my pleasure. Shotgun with the two months. Thank you for that, my man. Appreciate that as well. Of course. Okay, so the nails... Weaknesses of the Human Psyche by Gilhelm Trimor. Oh. Analyze? Gilhelm Trimor. Trimor. An anagram of Mortimer. Wow. Arrogant enough to publish writings on mental control in full view of everyone. I wonder who he's writing for. Weaknesses of the Human Psyche by Gilhelm Trimor. There they are. Doop. There. Those are the nails I was looking for. I noticed they were old and rusty. But but I hadn't noticed these traces of... Could that be blood? It, is it really the relic of the Holy Cross? I can hardly believe it. Cool. Feathers. Pigeons, probably. I wonder if that is part of the book. I think it might be. Uh, it looks like obsidian or, or onyx. It must That's some kind of weird demon relic. What on earth could that be? Note by Lord Mortimer. Where did that go? Or maybe it went towards that. Yeah, I think it went towards that. Okay. Baze Ezra says, You're a demon relic. Your mom's a demon relic. Oh shit, we went there. It's locked. Mm. 
My face is a demon relic? Oh, come on. Be civil. All right. Come on. Let's get out of here. 6466, six, six, if I remember correctly. Oh, well, that was nice of it. I was really confused for a second. A painting. It looks unfinished. A piece by Lord Mortimer, I presume. Hmm. A rather avant-garde technique. The Titan against men. <laughs> How ironic. Right. All right, let's go into the storeroom next and grab the Bible, and then we'll go talk to Werner. Werner! The room is right here. Ah, Louis. Glad you're here. Blasted. He's gonna talk about my mother. Come and see what I've found. There are pieces of paper in the ashes of the chimney. Someone's been burning something here. Incredible. He doesn't seem to want to speak to me about what happened between my mother and the Hillsborough sisters. Show me a little. Look, it's possible to distinguish two different writing styles. Hmm. The rest of the correspondence between my mother and Emma. Someone tried to burn an exchange of messages. I'm certain there must be more. Shit. What on earth is he doing? Uh, Washington is immune to politics. Let's try manipulation, because he seems like kind of a, a bit of a dingle. If you want my opinion, a, a servant must have burnt some old papers. Oh, That's all. no! Well, of course. You very nearly made me think that you were trying to hide something, Lily. No, I'm sure there must be other hidden messages. He won't let go. He's going to work his way back to the Bible if he continues. I'm just gonna go grab it then. Yoink! Oh, the Bible's still there. Mm, we better put this to rest. Hey, look there. Hmm. No, I don't see anything. Come, Louis. Look. Someone's clearly drawn a four in the dust. I have a clue. He's going to be disappointed when he clue. sees the Bible's disappeared. Wait, do I have to go put it back? I can't put it back. Uh-oh. Wait, is that all he's going to say over and over? Hey, you. Look, Oh, there. so hmm. we failed this. No, I don't see anything. Come, Louis, look. Damn. Someone's clearly drawn a four. This is bad. Dust. This is really bad. I have a clue. He's going to be disappointed when he sees the Bible's disappeared. Because he may, he may, like, deduce what's going on from here. Okay, how do I take out my garrote? I think if, I think if we take out Washington here and now... And hide his body behind one of these paintings. That will be. T I've played too much Hitman. All right, let's go. Um. Volner. Ah. Yes. Then we'll take his disguise. We'll dress up as Washington. Yeah. I like where you're going with this chat. In our Millery sphere. Perfect. That will save me some time. Let me just tuck this I in my jacket. He isn't going to realize it right away. Oh my god, he did. He straight guy brushed three wood did. That was amazing. He just picked up that giant device and put it in his jacket. Nice. Alright, we're going back to mom. Where did he put it? Uh, you don't want to know. He put it in his, uh, <clears throat> his, uh, 
his uh, save for later pouch. Yeah. Same place that Laura stored all her rope in Tomb Raider. Just saying, she had a lot of rope. Hmm. Is that, an, is that an armillary sphere in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> you know, a little bit of both. <laughs> I don't get it, Co. Can you explain deeper? Sure. Sometimes, when you go to prison, you need a place to hold things. Is that not what you meant? Oh. Um, <clears throat> never mind. Mm. Alright, Mama. Let's solve this puzzle. So, good. You've managed to gather all the keys. Yes, that's right. I have everything. What should I start with? Place the Clement III cross on the console. Then you have to put the nails on the disc of the door. What theme did you start with? As the fresco shows the birth of Christ, I placed one nail in Bethlehem, one in chapter two, and one in verse six. The iris opened a little. I thought it was normal. Behind the aperture of the iris, there is a duct in which I put my hand. I felt something like a valve at the bottom. I thought by turning it, the door would open, or the iris would open completely, or something else would happen. Oh, something else Instead, did happen. Instead, I felt something like an axe cut off my hand. I really thought it was the end of me. What did you do then? Well, although I had made some unfortunate choices, I was lucky in that Mortimer was well stocked with drugs. I raided his supplies of medicine. What hole should I put the nails in? Well, I can't really advise you there, because I haven't exactly made the best choices myself. <laughs> All I can say is that you have to insert one to choose a town, one to choose a chapter, and one to choose a verse. All right, my turn now. Go ahead, impress me. I'll shut up and let you concentrate. The cycle of the moons has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. What in the shit? <laughs> okay. Um Fresco clearly shows the birth of Christ. Louis, I can assure you that that is not the solution to this enigma. This fresco's only purpose is to mislead. I know that now. Please, focus on another theme about Christ. We'll have to trust her. Yes, it's definitely a representation of the birth of Christ, but some of the details have flaked away. I can't see any other clues. One thing is for sure, this enigma deals with the life of Jesus, like my mother said. Okay. You could see that the pain has come off in parts. Difficult to see what was there, but I can distinguish the letters N R I. Nothing more. N R I? Why, of course. They're part of the initials I-N-R-I. -I. 
that you can find on the cross of Jesus at his crucifixion. Okay, so it could be where he was crucified? If Mortimer deliberately set a trap by showing the birth of Christ, then maybe the solution is the contrary. The death of Christ in that case? Hmm, it looks like there are three types of inscriptions. There, there are three styles of writing and I've got three nails. There must be a link. I must surely put in one nail per category. Clearly, we have names of towns, Arabian numerals, and Roman numerals. These towns have one thing in common. They're all related to the life and death of Jesus. For example, Jordan is the place of the baptism of Christ. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm, it looks like there are three types of inscriptions. Okay, so we have to find... We have to find something about the crucifixion and death of Jesus Christ. This exegesis contains comments from Judas on the different Gospels. It only contains certain chapters and verses, and the chapters are indicated by Roman numerals. Oh, no, the no, lexicon no. refers to different chapters and verses from the exegesis of Judas. Um, the, the Bethesda one is how you uh, unlock loot boxes in the game. Yeah. Chapter 19, verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3,793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Chapter 19, verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew, Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him on either side and Jesus in the midst. Okay, that sounded pretty good. So Golgotha? Chapter 19. Verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3,793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. And that was in... Chapter 19, verse 17. Chapter 19, verse 17. And he, bearing his cross went forth into a place called the place of a skull which is called in But the then Hebrew, why do we need the Golgotha, date where they crucified him and two others with him Maybe that's on either side something after. and Jesus in the midst Chapter 19 nope, verse stop. 17 And he bearing his cross went forth into a place called the place of a skull which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha where they crucified him, and two others with him, on either side, and Jesus in the midst. The cycle of the moons has nothing to do with okay. what I'm doing right now. Done, Louis. I hadn't seen those other wheels. Try connecting the theme to see if it goes all the way.
must surely be a connection between the wheels. There are different icons on this wheel, but it looks like some of them can't be connected to the other wheels. Well, given the difference between the number of icons and the number of towns, I think that only one path connects all the wheels with one another. Let's try to connect the theme I've chosen with the rest. Oh, the crown of thorns. So we could put that at Golgotha. Maybe. So it'll be there. What is this? And that, but then that one's off. Hmm. Oh, that's just blood. Oh. So I think that was right. Let's put it back where it was. So we'll put that one in Golgotha. And then we have to date the Golgotha one. So... Chapter 19, verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3,793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Eighth of Nisan, 26 March 33 equals 7 Shaban 607 equals 8 Nisan. And then 14 Nissan, 3793, is 1st of April, 33. So... 26 March, 33, is 14 Nissan, 3793. 8th of April... Oh, excuse me, excuse me. 8th of April, 33 is what we're looking at. Wait, what is 8th Nissan 3? Oh god, I'm so confused right now. What's that 3 mean at the end? Uh... Hmm... 8 Nissan is 26th of March. I think 26th of March is where we're looking. I don't know what that 8 Nissan 3 is, though. That's throwing me off a little bit. We do have a 26th of March. Hmm. No, not that, you dummy. This guy, 26 of March, 33. During new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. 
Then, the shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states. Waxing crescents, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over with the full shadow new moon. The moon shadow moves from west to east. Oh. So we want it for seven Shaban minus 607. Seventh of Shaban, 607, first quarter. First quarter. So if the new moon is the completely shadowed moon, then first quarter would be... The moon shadow moves from west, west to east. east. Fully shadowed is the beginning. During new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. Okay. Then, the shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following So states. from full shadow moon we go... Waxing crescents, first quarter... Two. Waxing okay. gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over with the full shadowed new moon. So, this is the new moon, and then the shadow moves from west to east, so that would be the first quarter right there. Oh, this doesn't look right at all. <laughs> um, oof. That's the half moon? No, I don't think so. Because they, they, it, it said, like, that's... I'm pretty sure it's first quarter. It's the opposite one, you think? I know you would think that this would be first quarter, because it's a quarter of the moon, but they have, like, waxing and waning. So, it's not, like... I think it's first quarter of the cycle. Yeah. This is moving left to right, though. But that's from the new moon. Left to right, left to right. Left to right. Yeah, I, I, I think that's right. People are saying it's the other one, but I don't know. Let's get our hand chopped off, shall we? Because I kind of want to see what happens. <laughs> Can you save it? No. No, we can't. Um, I'm not even sure if, like, the dates are right. I don't know if any of this is right. Like, we, we've done a lot of guesswork on this. So, I mean, this could be... Uh... I started from New Moon. No, no, no. That's definitely full moon because the blood's over it. You can see the blood's over it. And the, the new moon is the moon fully in the shadow, which is the bottom. Yeah. Can we save it? No, but if my hand gets cut off, I could alt F4 immediately. <laughs> Spend more time on the puzzle. It may come in handy. No, no. Just stop. No. Okay. I'm going to try this and we're going to fail it. My, my, I, I'm seeing the code destabilize right now. I can now. feel the lever at the bottom. Good luck. <laughs> oh no, what happened? My code, it destabilized in front of all of us. Oh, it's terrible. Um, oh, what happened? Oh no. Oh, geez. How, how, how could it do this? Oh, it's terrible. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs>
Um, so that's wrong. Uh, let's see. It saved, pretty much saved everything we did. So I'm thinking, like, I, I'm, I think that the outer ring, even though it doesn't line up, I feel like it's right. Because I can't, Golgotha is where he was crucified, and the crown of thorns is over Golgotha. So I can't, I can't think it's going to be any different there. Um, chat is 100% right that the moon is wrong. So we know it's a quarter according to our date. So you guys think it's the other moon? Like that? The crown of thorns was during his trial near Jerusalem. But I mean, what other scene would recommend would would be the death? Oh, you guys think one more? Um. Oh, you think the nail? But you aren't talking about the candle, are you? Because that's totally a candle. That's not a nail. Here's I like yeah this we have to, the the outside has to be wrong. It has to be wrong. Um. Hmm. None of them line up perfectly. That I can see. Unless we put them at the top, but that doesn't seem like it's right at all. Like that. Uh, that doesn't line up. I'm gonna leave it where I'm gonna leave it where it was. And I still think the date is right. Hmm. Okay, so we know that the nails we put in correspond to the crucifixion in Golgotha. So we know that that's the theme we're following. We're following Chapter 19, this theme. Verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3,793, in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Okay, so looking here... Eighth of Nisan, 3793. Now, what's weird is if we look at the bottom, the 14th of Nisan, 3793, is in the 1st of April. So are we supposed to walk that back by 14 days? Into March? So maybe there's like a... Maybe there's like a March. What would that be? By six days? Only six days. Yeah, to eight Nissan. So that would be... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And we're back at March 26th. Um, okay, so March 26th does look more and more right. So maybe maybe you guys are right and it's just the moon. All right, let's 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 look at this again. Put your hand in and try it. I know, right? Okay, so let's, let's look at this moon thing again. So we know... The moon shadow moves from west... The east. Mm -hmm. During new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. So new moon is all shadow. Then the shadow moves from west to east. West to east. Meaning left to right. 
and goes through the following states. So it goes new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing crescent, waxing gibbous, first quarter, full waxing moon, gibbous, waning full gibbous, moon, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over yeah. with the full shadow new moon. So first quarter is actually when it's half. First quarter is when the moon is cut in half. That is a quarter. Yeah. So we know it has to be a quarter. Because if we do this, and we look at our date, 26 March. Wait, 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 wait. It, would, it wouldn't be 26 March 33. It would be... Or maybe it would. Yeah, it would. So 7 Shaban 607 is the right one. 7th of Shaban, 607, first quarter. So that would mean if we go to the new moon, shadow moves from west to east, that would be the waxing first, and then the first quarter. Because the shadow moves... So we want the one where the light's on the left side. Was that where I was mistaken? No. That I that was right. The moon on the left side. The light on the left side, because the shadow's moving from left to right. But this is the one we just tried. This is the one that didn't work. Everyone's saying flip it, but you know what? Here, just for chat, just for chat, I'm just going to flip it. Because chat is dead set on this being right, and maybe it is. Here we go. There we go. Okay. So, everyone's saying one more, this one. Oh my god, chat. Chat is, chat is very, very conflicted right now. It's going counterclockwise, not clockwise. Yeah, but I'm going from the side that the shadow is moving. So, like, if this is the top, right? If this is north, then the shadow moves from west to east. So that would be the 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 first, and then that would be the first quarter. That would be the the waning shadow. Then that would be the full moon. That's not the shadow? I'm pretty sure it's the shadow. I'm pretty sure the dark is the shadow. I am completely backwards, people are saying. Um. Okay. Well, we're going to go... There. And now we're going to try it. I'm, I'm smelling a code destabilization, but we're going to try it. Let's see if chat's right. This is this is one of the big options chat's want. chat wants right here. I can feel the lever at the bottom. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, Mom. I never doubted you, my son. Good job, Cat. I still don't understand how that worked, but I, I guess I just reversed it in my head somehow. But we got everything else right. We got the dates and stuff right, which is good. Wouldn't her hand be in there? Yes. Ew. Um. Great. Two hundred IQ chat. That's right, man. Oh, that was the third episode. Okay. Okay. 
Um. Do I want to go get a quick breakfast? Uh. Yeah, I'll go get a snack real quick. Um, you know what, guys? Since we just finished this mission, this is a good time to do this. Uh, if I'm going to take. Uh, any opportunity to get food today, I might as well do it now so we don't break up the next episode. So it is 11 o'clock right now. I'm going to be back by 12. I'm going to be super fast. I'm just going to go get like a chicken biscuit or something somewhere. So I'll be super, super quick. And uh, then as soon as I get back, we will continue our adventure here and uh, start episode four.